All right, so what I want to cover in this video is kind of interesting is is a way to use AI to your benefit when you're like a you know project manager or coder or whatever on a on a on a on you know, let's say on a software project where you're using like either uh, GitHub or Bitbucket. So the purpose of this video is to show you how you can actually create uh, release notes uh, very easily with AI without too much kind of involvement because one thing would happen is like I, while I was building this project Wisepub, uh, I just keep pumping features, adding, you know, things, you know, creating tags for my feature release, etc. But I never really took the time to create a proper kind of uh, release notes. And now I'm really backlogged like a long time. So I'm like, okay, okay what I'm going to do. So I just figured out we can use AI to do it for us. And it's really cool. So the first thing you want to do is what I did is I ask, you know, AI because I'm not a big, you know, I'm not super experienced with Git. So there's many things you can do in Git. So I ask AI, what can I do to extract essentially a, a, a history of all my commits with my tags? Because I really uh, make it release with tags, you know, minor version, uh, you know, uh, and also a major version. And I do take care as well to put like very decent commit message when I add a feature, when I fix something. So, you know, by reading the history, we should be able to build a change log for our application. So essentially, I, you know, uh, I asked Claude, what can I do to extract? So he come up with this command, which is really cool. So I'm just going to copy this. I think I can just right click. Can I right click? Copy. Okay. And I'm going to go back in uh, VS Code here. Uh, we're going to just go into the terminal and we're just going to go to git fetch all just to make sure we got everything. Perfect. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to run this command and it's going to create like an history, uh, detail. Okay. So it create like this text file right there. So I'm going to click on it. Uh, and it's really cool because it creates kind of all this, this text file structure of everything we did on the project. Okay. So now I'm going to grab that. Uh, all right, and I'm gonna go back to uh, Chrome. So sorry, I'm just give me a second here. And then Claude, and it says, uh, "Hey, uh, this is my commit history for the project with tags. Can you create a detail change log for each of the release?" And I will just say these are tags, right? The release are tags. Uh, make sure to include the date of the release and all the uh, changes slash fix done. Okay. So I'm just going to paste in my content now. And we're just going to go ahead and submit this. So we'll see how this goes. All right, so it's starting. Yeah, that's really cool. So let's let it just finish. So I'm just going to pause here. Okay, so because my history had, <laughs> had quite long to do, so Cloud actually uh, hit the limit. But it's not a big deal because we can continue after we can tell him continue. But as you can see, it did the whole history of all my changelog with the tag version, which is fantastic. You know, it just saved me so much time. It's crazy. Um, so let's just make sure that makes sense. So version 4.8, added a way to extract email, URL, change the queue, added CTM, let's check it out. Version 8, added, yeah, yeah. That all makes sense. And then my tag, and it really respected my structure. This is really cool. Um, so one thing I'm, I'm doing with my project is I publish this usually uh, on my website here uh, in the change log. Let me see here. Uh, can I change change log? Can I go back? Sorry, I think it's just sorry. I didn't expose my change log here. Change log. There we go. So, but as you can see, I already imported it. Okay, but this is how I maintain my change log in WordPress with with uh, super easy because I can just use WordPress and custom post type. Like I use a change log here, and what I did is to even simplify my life even more. I asked Claude uh, uh, previously to just take this and make it a CSV so that the title is the version number 
then the publish date is the date of the you know the, the release of the tag and the content is like a ul le list you know in, in html and i was able to actually use the fantastic plugin and call called wp all import to actually import all these so what actually should have taken me hours took me around like 15 minutes to do um this is quite fantastic anyway so i just want to share that with everybody because if you're like me you're developing and you're like man i gotta do those change logs so now my customer can see you know what the progress of the app uh the fixes we did the feature we added uh, and you know you can tune that even more so if you want to like break it down into features versus fixes uh it's really cool so i think the important thing here is make sure you tag properly your uh, version in uh, github or bitbucket or whatever and make sure you also uh, add verbose uh, comment so you're really explicit in your comment messages so that when time comes to do your change log it's super easy for ai to kind of build it all right so i hope this was super helpful uh let me know what you think bye